I'll talk about the lighting, maybe. I feel like I'm freaking, uh, what do you call it, taking uh, high school pictures. <laughs> What's up, fin fans, football fans, fans, fans that blow people's hair? So, <laughs> it's week eight now. Wow, going fast. Yeah, it's week eight now. We're playing Monday night, which is nice. We can sit back, watch Sunday games, and I don't have to stress about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the picks. We're going to talk about maybe some of the things that are happening with the teams. If you don't know, this is my dad, but you should know. This is my dad already. Um, talk. We're going to give our picks, do comment of the day, and then at the end, I have... A Patreon, and I got a bunch of you guys that are part of the Patreon. I'm gonna pop your names up. And thank you guys for uh, being part of the Patreon. So let's jump into the picks. So last week you did bad. That's okay. You did bad last week. Yeah, all right. You went six and eight last week. All right. Yeah. You had two games on me for like three weeks, and all these guys were cheering you on. They were like, "Don't worry about get it. Him Papa, not, get him, Papa. Get him, Papa. Get him, Papa over. Dougley." And well, then I came. I got my own. <laughs> I came. He went six and eight last week. Your boy. Your boy went <coughs> eleven and three. Don't ever doubt me. <laughs> so uh, your record on the season. So what I did was the tie was bothering the crap out of me. You know how we had the yeah. number, number, then the tie? I took the tie out. I gave us yeah. both a loss for the tie. Screw Good. it. That, you know? That's all right. That's all right. So for the season, I'm 64 and 42. Okay. You're 61 and 45. All right. So I got three games on you now. I jumped you. I got five over you. Went three games over you. So let's jump into these picks. I don't know if they're going to be in the same order, but I'll just throw them out. And then, so we'll talk about tonight's game. Because I see you got tonight's game. The Vikings are giving the Redskins, Redskins, up in Minnesota, Vikings are giving the Redskins 16 points. 16 points. I'm gonna. I'm going all the way. With Vikings. The Vikings. <laughs> they barely beat the Dolphins. The only reason they beat the Dolphins is because the Dolphins went for two. We didn't ask sure. you. <laughs> sure. I gave them my opinion for going for two. What is what is your opinion on them going for two? What is your thought on the, on them going for two? Real quick. You should have went for one. Go to overtime. To <laughs> A lot of the guys felt the same way, and then some felt like, like he was just trying to win. Trying to win, you go for one, and you, you could beat, you were beating them. I, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Next, we got the Bengals, the Bungles, the Bungaloos, 0 7, heading to LA to face the Rams. Rams are giving 13 and a half. Rams all the way. Yeah, we're going Rams. This is this week might be easy. This next game seems to be interesting. Broncos, two and five, heading to Indianapolis to take on the four and two Colts. I wanted just so you know, last week, um, uh, yeah, last week you picked the Texans, and then I was like, I don't, because you've been right a lot. I'll give you, I'll give you credit. You've been right a lot. So when you picked the Texans, I want to go Colts, but I was like, no, because if he wins anymore, I can't come back. So I was like, I'm gonna pick with you, but I wanted the Colts. Well, well, well you, you, you see how I do that pick. Yeah. If you're good at home, that's why I pick you. Yeah. You know? So Colts are giving six to the Broncos. Colts are home. I'm taking the Colts both. Yeah. You know what's funny? Yeah, last week, oh, we'll get to it because we'll talk about the Dolphins <coughs> when we get to the Dolphins. I have so much to talk about. So then we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers heading to Tennessee. Ryan Tannehill is the starting quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. He did well last week. Titans are given two and a half. Bronco, uh, Buc Buccaneers are two and four. Titans are three and four. Titans given two and a half. Titans all the way. I'm going to take Titans both ways. But again, I said this in the live stream. And again, I'm pretty sure you agree. You can let me know if you agree or disagree. We never thought Tannehill sucked, but he wasn't elite, and he wasn't taking us where we needed to go, right? So, what he, Tannehill did last week against the Chargers, haven't you seen it before? Yeah. That's all we're saying. That's all we're going to say. Then we got the Cardinals heading down to Louisiana, take on the Saints. Saints are given 10 and a half. Cardinals are 3-3-1, three, three and one, surprisingly. 3-3-1. Three, three and one. Saints. Yeah, Saints both ways. Teddy Bridgewater is actually doing really well for the and Saints. And then next week... Drew Brees might be coming back. I need him. He's my fantasy quarterback. Well, I've been riding with Philip Rivers. Well, they'll land him take another week because this Bridgewater's doing good. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. There's another quarterback I want. Because he has to get back in the swing to uh, get them uh, passing rated. Yeah. Some passes. Yeah. 
Um, then we got the Chargers, two and five, heading up to Chicago. Bears. They got numbers. The Bears. Three and three Bears. Bears. Trubisky sucks. That offense sucks. Look at look look for your paper. Look for your paper. Bears are giving four in this one though. I'm gonna take the Bears because I like the defense. Let me see what. Let me see. I'll help you. I got it. Right yeah, you take the Bears. <laughs> I told him before we got here. I was like, take some notes. Write down your picks. So he's gonna take the Bears as well. Chargers are just. Philip Rivers is again on another team where he has to do everything. He's not. It he, just. It's time for him to say goodbye. And they have so many injuries. The Chargers. It's just really bogging them down. So. And the Bears' defense is good, but their offense with Trubisky is just. And they're playing in inept. Chicago. And they're playing in Chicago. So we're gonna both take the Bears. Philadelphia Eagles, three and four, heading up to Buffalo to take the five and one Bills on. Bills are given one and a half points. Bears, Bills, Bills, all the way. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go opposite with oh, you on this okay. one. Okay. I'm gonna go Philly, just because the Dolphins last week gave the Bills a fight. You give them a real big fight. We'll get to it. We'll and get to it. <laughs> we'll get to it. <laughs> we got the New York Giants, two and five, taking on. The Lions, two, three, and one. Lions are given seven to the Giants. It's in Detroit. Who do you, who do you got? Who would you write down on this one? Did you take the Lions or the I'll Giants? Take, I'll take the Lions to win and the Giants to, to cover. cover. All right. I think I'm going to take the Lions in both on this one. They're both bad teams. Not bad, but they're both like... Well, the Giants are going to put some scores on. Yeah, they're going to struggle. And uh, the given, the culture give, the Giants, the uh, Lions are given seven. Seven? Yes, I think. Yeah. Jets heading down to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Jaguars are giving six points to the Jets, Dad. The Jets. Jets. Did you watch that Monday night game? Yeah, the uh, they quarterback had, whisper. They had... Yeah, yeah. Quarterback whisper, whisper, doing doing the things that Dolphin fans told you, Jet fans. Look, don't be surprised because he's he's not that good. He's not, and a lot of Jet fans were like, he's gonna take it. And we got Darnold, and now we got the Le'Veon Bell and C.J. Mosley and Osemele, and we got all these guys. You guys, you guys are worse than the Dolphins. The Dolphins have scored more touchdowns this season than the Jets have, and the Dolphins are supposedly tanking, but the Jets are worse. Like, come on. Come on. Uh, you, uh, 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 Buccaneers all the way. Jags, you mean? Huh? Jags. Jags. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> you sure about your, you sure your glasses. Uh, so, yeah, we're both going to take the Jags, obviously. <laughs> we're both I'm sunburn in here. <laughs> Did you hear what Sam Darnold said? They had him mic'd up. Yeah, he's looking. He, he saw sees, ghosts. And now the Jets are pissed that the NFL, ESPN, broadcasted him saying, I, I see ghosts. And then, you know what it is? You had... What's his name? Sanchez getting butt faced by his, his his own lineman, and now you got this. You got this guy. You got this guy. A mono, and he's seeing ghost. I'm sorry, Jeff fans, and that's coming from Dolphin fans, like. And you talk about us, right? We, you guys have it worse than us because we didn't spend 130 million, or we didn't spend. I don't even know how much you spend oh, in the offseason. But off you see season. how we're, every every week we're getting more points on the board. We're getting better and better. Watch when we see them. See what happens there. Yeah. And we got the Seattle Seahawks, 5-2. and two. They lost to the Ravens, but I will say, oh, I'll talk about the Ravens in a minute. He heading down to Atlanta, take the 1-6 and six Falcons on. The Seahawks are giving 5.5. I'll go Seahawks all the way. So, yeah, we're going Seattle both way. Russell Wilson, two weeks ago, he had that winning drive without his helmet working. He just improv the whole drive. Guys, I think he's going to be MVP of the season. Then we got the Carolina Panthers with Kyle Allen. Yeah, what, what, what. Cam Newton's healthy, and they're starting Kyle Allen anyway. I would, I would too. I would too. So would Cam too. Cam's job might be, you know, under. I, I would too. <clears throat> taking on the undefeated 49ers in San Francisco. 49ers given five and a half. All the way. Uh, 49ers. 49ers. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, all the way 49ers. I don't think I think we disagreed on one game because <laughs> I agree the 49ers are playing really great. That defense is is. is yeah. What about the offense got, what, 9 nothing? Come on. Yeah. They, they should have been higher. Yeah. They should have been higher. Exactly. They should have been higher. Then we got the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns trading for Odell, getting Olivier Vernon, so, you know, Did getting you? all these players. They're taking on the Patriots. Patriots are giving 13. The Patriots are winning. The Patriots are home. Like, yeah. we all know it's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. I don't. I honestly don't think the Patriots go 16-0. and They are going to have to face some teams that are better than what they faced. But the Browns, they just... Baker Mayfield's having a huge sophomore slump. And 
And and now uh, New England got a, another wide receiver. Oh, Sanu. Yeah, they traded their second round pick for Sanu, which a lot of people are thinking this might be Brady's last year because they gave up a second round pick for this guy. Like well, Sanu is good, but I don't know worth a second round pick. Well, they're already talking. He's selling his house up in. Uh, Fox really? Fox. Yeah. Good. He's going to retire when the Dolphins get their quarterback and start rebuilding, and the Dolphins are going to take this division over. Calling it right now. We'll see that. Now we got the Oakland Raiders heading to Houston to take on the Texans. Texans are given seven points. Raiders three and three. Texans four and three. You like the Texans at home, right? No, I'm going Raiders. You're going Raiders. Yeah. And what what the Raiders give? Uh, 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 Texans give in the Raiders seven. All the way to Raiders. I'm going to take the Texans in this one. As much as I don't want the Texans to win, because. You know, we want the higher pick, but yeah. Then we got the Sunday night game is the Green Bay Packers 6-1 and one, taking on the Matt Moore leading Kansas City Chiefs who are 5-2. and two. The Packers are giving four. It's in Arrowhead in Kansas City. Green Bay all the way. I'm going Pack. Go Pack up. Just because Matt Moore, Matt Moore's doing his thing. He won, he's helped always, them win, he, you know? He's always like that. But is, for how long? But I'm hearing Patrick Mahomes is already like back in doing his thing, working out and stuff. But I will say this, and I tweeted this out: Don't pull an RG three and come back too soon and blow that knee out. Correct. You dislocated your kneecap. Take your time. Matt Moore can get you some wins. And they put it on back in on the field too. Oof. Did they really? Oh yeah, RG three like the next week because they were in the playoffs. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Mahomes. Mahomes, right on, right on the field. They popped it back. Oh, in. I thought you said they put him back. On. No, no. Put well, it back. Well, that that was if the coach didn't do that or pulled him out, he would have been all right. You know what I mean? And then we got our game Monday night, which I will go live. He's by, he's got he he's got work, guys. So nah, he's not going to be able to. But Monday night. Monday night. I'll be there. You gonna watch it? Yeah. So he'll be live with me. I'm gonna come here. I'll come over. We'll go live. Chase your mother up the stairs. <laughs> so we got the Miami Dolphins heading to Pittsburgh to take on them like Steelers. The <laughs> Steelers Monday are given night. 14 and a half. You know, I'm going, Monday I'm Dolphins. going fins all the way. <laughs> hey, I will say That's this. That's going to be our first win. I will say this. The Dolphins covered. Dolphins were getting like 17 last week or something like that. And 20, we only lost 31, by 21. 10 points. 31-21. And it's because of the stupid BS onside ah. kick that he ran back. What was your thoughts on last week's game? I went live. I want to hear your thoughts on last week's game well, against I Buffalo. I sat in the bar and watched the damn thing. Yeah. Holy moly. We're doing good. We're doing good. He was We're up 14-9. Going down that, the field. Bang, that bang, interception, bang. how much did that take the wind out of the bar when you guys when you threw that the interception? Well, it was just me. Oh, it was just you? Just me. Oh, you should have came over. It was me, me, Robbie. Mm. Robbie, because he was working, he, he showed yeah. up, and, and Chris. Damn. I was like, mm. I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, look at this. Oh, mm. the Jet fans are like, well, I said, look, look at what we're playing, man. And then, burp. Yeah, yep, burp. Play right out. Be sure to comment below. I hit the mic with my elbow. Bah! Be sure to comment below. Let me know if we picked for your team. Let us know. If we picked against your team, let us know why you hate our guts, whatever. But be sure to comment below. Let me hear you guys' picks, and we're going to get to your guys' comment of the day. This one comes from Fort Street Entertainment. Ooh. And he says, what do you think our record would have been if we had kept, if we had this coaching staff in 2016, 2018? So he wants Ooh. to know Ooh. what our record would be right now if we still had Gase, Burke, um, I don't remember. Oh, Gase was our offensive coordinator. All those guys. If we still had those guys, what would our record be now? A little bit better than it is now. You think so? No. Same team. What, what, just, yeah, what, same yeah, team what, yeah. just the, with Gase. Same with team Gase? just – same same team as now, but just those coaches. You think we would have at least won a game? I don't yeah. think so. Well, with Gase you was can. a little bit, you know, he took us to a playoff. I don't think so. Huh? No. No, no, he didn't. I don't think so. He no, he took us to he took us there. He took us to a party. But I don't think right. I think we'd be in the same situation right now. I don't think we would have won again. I'll go back when uh, Feeler and them guys. That's that's when that's when it was really bad. <laughs> this is yeah. Mike's here. You know. Um, but yeah, no, I don't. I think we would have the same record. I don't yeah, think because yeah. he's he's one in six with the Jets with a better with more talent with all these things with and a better defensive is, coordinator. If you get if you put just a little bit more talent, just a little bit more talent on this Dolphins team, we would have beat the Redskins, we would have beat the Bills, we would have beat the Cowboys, and we would have beat the Chargers. A better offensive line. A better offensive line. Give us a little bit more talent than we have now. Yeah. We would have won at least three or four games so far. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't. Nope. And look at Adam Gase. He has all the talent, 
and he's won one game. So I don't. I think it'd be the same and record right that, now. He has that defensive coordinator that was Greg on Williams the, was on the Saints that got fired. Yeah. So thank you for the comment. Real quick, here are some of the Patreons. Popping them up. I'm gonna pop one there, and I'm gonna pop one over here. You guys are Patreons. So again, I have a Patreon. It's linked below. I'm gonna set up tiers. Uh, I'm thinking like four dollars is going to be what just happened. Your names are going to be popped up a little bit more. You get first dibs of comment of the day and you become a moderator for the live streams. And then I'll come up with different things for more than that. But these are some of you guys that joined the Patreon. Thanks for joining the Patreon. But other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter. When news breaks, I tweet it out. He doesn't have a Twitter. He barely knows how to use his iPhone, even though he does send me emojis randomly, which is hilarious to me. But be sure to follow me on Twitter. Also, Instagram. I am. I did post. Some on Instagram, so be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out the Bit Boys. They're behind me. Literally, when I get done recording this, we're gonna record some Bit Boys sessions. So they're behind me. Be if I could play the game, I would be with them, but I can't. We should. We should. Hey, we should have them in an episode of the Bit Boys. Sounds great. <laughs> the Bit Boy. So be sure to go check out the Bit Boys. Hit the subscribe button. Great video game content over there. We are getting done with Halloween. Thanksgiving's coming up, and then we have Christmas. <laughs> so be sure to go check that out. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Other than that, give this video a thumbs up, because you like the content, you like him being in the videos, you like our picks. And because this pro it's promising. We're getting better. We're getting better every we week. We got lights now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we got lights now. We're professional in this little nice studio lights. that we got here. So give this video a thumbs up. Check out Dolphins Talking Sportscasters. Two great sites. One I stream on, Sportscaster. The other one, great dolphin content with other great YouTubers, bloggers, podcasts. Check that out. But other than that, hit that subscribe button. Got content for you. Regardless of the record, me and my dad are diehard dolphin fans. We're going to make videos regardless of the record. Uh, I'm going live Monday night. Why not? I'll be there. We're going to watch the Steelers hopefully lose. There's like some like stipulation that if the Dolphins beat the Steelers, that actually helps them get the number one pick somehow. It's it's some weird stipulation, some weird thing that I read. So you know what's his name still hasn't picked up that um, uh, uh, Marino uh, college jersey. Oh really? Yeah. So he's probably gonna wear that. You should wear that Monday. I was gonna wear that today, but I'll wear that Monday. Well, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I will see you guys Friday with the preview video for the Dolphins versus Steelers. But other than that, like usual, stay classy. Fins up, babe.